Hey everybody, in this video, I'll be showing you how to do a cruise call Wallace test. We cover this in our textbook, Basic Statistics for the Behavioral and Social Sciences using R. And we cover this in the chapter entitled Non-Parametric Tests of Central Tendency. So the cruise call Wallace test is the non-parametric version of the one-way analysis of variance and it extends the Mann-Whitney U to extend comparisons to more than two groups. So with the cruz call wallace test, uh, it's a test of the hypothesis that a continuous dependent variable uh, is different across two or more groups based on rank. So like the uh, analysis of variance, it's an omnibus test. So it's not gonna show you where differences lie. If there are significant differences, you'll have to do that in post hoc analysis. And we can use the cruise call wallace test when we can't assume normality, but it does assume independence of, op of observation. So you have to be aware of that. And it's a comparison of medians. So for this demonstration, we're going to use the hospital data set that we have used previously, and we're going to test the hypothesis that age of patients is related to where they're discharged from. Um, so I'm going to attach uh, the data set in order to save keystrokes. And as I've acknowledged in previous videos, um, this is a somewhat controversial practice, but like I said, it saves keystrokes and um, enables us to um, do this with, without making too many typographical errors. So um, I just want to uh, show you the descriptives for these variables together, a little bivariate analysis. So let's start by visualizing uh, the age of patients by discharge status. And we can do that with a box plot. So uh, this is all using base R for now. So we're going to put age and use the tilde and discharge. And when we look at that, um, we've got our box plot with the medians in the middle. So uh, we see that, that it looks like for uh, patients discharged to nursing homes, their median age seems to be a bit higher than those discharged to rehabs. And it seems that the, those discharged to their homes uh, is uh, the youngest. So I wanna just extend this analysis a little bit more and we can use the psych package. We'll go back to this plot and do a describe by so we can uh, look at a little bit more information and we will type in age comma discharge. So notice that our two variables are the same in the described by we separate them with a comma whereas we use the tilde in the box plot. And here are descriptive statistics and we see indeed that the median age of those discharged to home is 54 um, it's 65 for those discharged to nursing homes and uh, almost 61 for the rehab. And the average or mean ages is uh, in line in those same rank orders that we saw previously. Um, and we can see the range of ages along with the standard deviations. Um, and you can see that the standard deviation is the highest uh, for the nursing group, as is the interquartile range, and we can sort of visualize that by the height of the box. So with that in mind, we observe that the, those discharged to nursing homes tend to be older than those to rehab and home, but let's test the hypothesis that there is a relationship between age and, dis and where patients are discharged to. And um, we will not assume normality, and, um, but we do know that these samples are independent from one another. So we will do cruise call test and age comma discharge. And um, 
Here we see that this is the data that we're using here. And this is the chi-square and degrees of freedom and our p-value. So we see that we cannot um, reject the null hypothesis that there's no relationship uh, between discharge location and age. Um, so uh, we probably need to explore our uh, relationships a bit further, but we cannot reject the null hypothesis in this case. And that's how you do a Cruz-Call-Wallace test in R and hope you found this video helpful.